Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be comparing the CRT, which is on the right, to the LCD, which is on the left. Now, uh, there's a lot of differences between your average CRT and your LCD. This is the Acer 54E, made in 2000, and on the left is the Acer AL 1916, made in 2006. So it's a six year difference, not really that big of a difference, but of course this is CRT. This is LCD. One difference about them is the startup. So the LCD, and then you just click the button, an Acer logo comes up. Very standard. It says cable not connected. But the CRT has this very big button. It's a very clunky button. And you can hear the static buildup. So they have very different startups. Another difference is the LCD uses very low voltage while the CRT uses extremely high voltage and taking apart a CRT uh, can be life threatening. You can also see it flicker while you can't see the LCD flicker. And the way they're built is also a lot different. For the LCD it's um, a liquid crystal display and uh, these crystals are polarized that manipulate the light coming from the back to display an image. The crystals in there are in between a liquid and a crystal, which I think is pretty cool. For a CRT, of course, it just uses the cathode ray tube. The way the cathode ray tube works, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll pop up a picture. The way it works is it shoots particles onto the screen from the back of it, and it does that really fast, and that's the refresh rate you see there, the flickering. And if it's plugged in, it creates a picture. So that was a very, very brief description of how a CRT versus LCD work. An advantage the LCD has is its lightness and compactness. For I, I can... Oh my goodness. That is a lot heavier than I thought. But still, this is like 15 pounds and it's extremely thin. While this right here has glass, which is easy to break. It has all these inner working parts that are extremely easy to break and it is humongous and it weighs an absolute ton. Some LCDs actually have built-in speakers while you rarely ever see CRTs with built-in speakers. And the CRTs were discontinued like early 2003, 2004 and were throughout those years were replaced by the LCD. One thing about CRTs is if you get a magnet too close to them they will truly pass on or some will automatically degauss or have a degauss button that gets rid of the magnetism and grounds it basically, makes it go back to the original picture. Well, if you get a magnet close to an LCD, really nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna go back to normal very, very soon. One advantage the CRT has is its durability to the screen. Like, I, I can knock it really hard and nothing's gonna happen. While if I did the same to this, it would break because this is plastic. Uh, the LCD, though, has a lot more advantages. Uh, it can have higher refresh rate than this because all, all it has lights back here that all are independent while this has the little ray tube in the back that's having to update this picture every single one thirtieth of a second. LCDs do get a lot hotter though than CRTs. The CRT is very cold and will stay cold for a long time Well, LCD will overheat faster. Overall the LCD definitely does win the ARS to the CRT. I don't think people even use the CRT anymore. Anybody? use a CRT anymore. Comment down below if you actually still use one of these. There were a lot of models of the CRT, some bigger. This is the standard size. Some like the thousand gateway were absolutely humongous. There's my hand in comparison. This thing is like literally 60 pounds. This was uh, a very early CRT. This only has one cathode ray tube, the green. Monochrome monitor. This is made by IBM. It's IBM 5151, made in 1981. And this one has one color green because it only has one cathode ray tube. This is RGB. Both of these are RGB. Some CRTs were actually made in YGB, which I feel bad for about those. But you mostly you would see RGBs. So yeah, overall, the LCD does win. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.